Hello everyone, on this video we are going to see how to use assets in a Flutter application. We are going to use it this way, so the code is automatically generated and this is a better approach than using strings. A starter project, we have already here this layout. You can see it's just a simple app with a screen and on the screen there is a column with uh, two placeholders. Let's start by adding the assets. To do that, add a new folder. So go here, new folder, and call it assets. And here you can have different assets, so I like to divide in different folders. So here, call it image. Go to pubspec.yaml, and we can remove these comments. Okay, it's a lot cleaner now the file. Here are the assets, so make sure the alignment is like this, otherwise it will not work. Assets slash image. And let's paste the image here. You can see here a cat and a dog. Pubget. And now we can use it. Let's first add with the path, then I will show you how to do it in a better way. So to add it with the path, go to image and asset, and we can copy the path. So go here, copy path from content root. This can be constant. And the same thing for the cat. Let's stop and run again. And as you can see, we have here the image. Now let's improve our code. To do that, I'm going to use this library the footer gen so copy here go again to popspec.yaml and in the appendices add the footer gen make sure the alignment is right like this and uh, in depth dependencies here add this to pub get again and every time you add a new asset, you should run this command. So go to the terminal, run this command. This command can be found here in the documentation. It's this one. This will generate the code and update with the assets. Let's run it. And you can see here the generated code. use this you just need to replace this with assets import dot image image represents this and in this case a doc dot image and do the same thing for the cat we can copy and put it here Let's run again, and you can see it works as expected, and in this way you make sure you don't have any typo, and even if you change any file, you make sure that uh, that change is reflected in the whole code. Thanks guys for watching, if you like the content don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.